hi everyone this is Mona and welcome to butterflies home and garden I am coming on to share with you guys a little update of the garden where things are at um, things have still been extremely busy um, so haven't been had a chance to really do an update video so there's still things that still I'm still planting more companion planting than anything um, all of these over here still getting some of those in the ground we are about to have a really bad storm here in the next couple hours so I figured I would just kind of get out here and um, film things um, before that happens um, I didn't do I did a, li a little little uh, mild watering this morning um, because of all the rain we're about to get coming in so let's start over here I decided over here I don't know I can't remember the last video I did um, I think it just had the squash right here over here moved a tomato plant right here and some flowers the melons as you can see are doing well I still have these last set of sweet potato slips that I need to uh, get uh, planted um, so still got them down in some water um, my goal, like I said in my last video with the weeding, is to try and stay on top of it <laughs> and not let it get too bad. This bed, all three of these are different varieties of melons. Um, right here in this pool is sweet potato slips. Um, there's nothing in this yet. Um, still kind of thinking what I'm going to put in there. I'm not sure yet. Um, let's see. Let's go... Let's do around the patio first and then go over on the side of the fence. Um, and here is a squash. I want to say this is a table queen squash in here. We have some more squash over here in this bed and a little tray of squash that I need to get planted. And there's Mr. Davis. <laughs> um, right here we got some corn. We got some squash. I just planted those yesterday. Some Napa cabbage. Um, I'm going to come and do a watering on that. Because it's, as you can see it looks really dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Around here we got some flowers. That rhubarb has started to grow back. Um, I think that's just so amazing. And we got some tomatoes, and I need to get out here and actually prune all of the tomatoes. Um, right here in the red pot is a blueberry bush that I picked up from Lowe's. Right here is uh, another sweet potatoes. We got the fig right here, and all along this side of the fence, um, with the exception of the brown um, tub down there. All of those are tomatoes. Um, our garlic back here is doing really, really well. Um, so, yeah, those are going pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's go down here a little bit. Uh, oh, right here we have some different melons um, that are going to come and trellis over. Uh, and we have some more different varieties of squash there. Um, I want to say, oh no, this is the Blue Hubbard. Yeah, that's supposed to be a really big one. And here we have all different types of bush beans. Um, and those are looking really good. I've been having an issue so far this year with the rabbits. Um, yeah they've been on the prowl so had a got some liquid fence and that seems to help right here we have our sweet peppers I have yet to put anything in that other 4x4 four four right there um, we have our collards which are doing really really good um, I mean all of these turned out so fantastic from seed I just it's amazing how you know from a tiny seed you go from that to all of this you know it's just truly amazing um, got another squash right here over here is where the hot peppers start um, and 
hot peppers right here. Still have not moved this artichoke yet, but I am going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take two of those out. This right here is, I want to say, this is a golden zucchini. Um, over here, we have cucumbers, okra, um, all of that. So, and if you see right here, I have started to kind of do a layout of my um, watering system. So, yeah, um, I figure after this next rain that we're about to get today, on the next decent day, I'm going to come out here and we're going to get all of those put in place and um, get it set up. So that way I'm not having to come out and water every day by hand. I can just set the timer or um, take care of it that way. All of these right here, we got corn, but all of these up this side of the fence are potatoes. Um, so looking forward to that. So give me a minute and I'm gonna take you up on the uh, side yard so we could see what's growing on over there. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Had to uh, take care of a little something. Um, before I go to the side yard, I forgot about the veggie pot right here, um, which is housing my Carolina Reaper and some ground cherries. As you can see, guys, I mean, look at this. I mean, this that Reaper pepper has bounced back. And again, I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not going to prune it. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, this is the three that overwintered indoors. Um, and amazing. Um, TLC it back up and it's doing really good. Um, I still haven't planted anything else in here but the reaper and some ground cherries. And this is a little experiment too with the ground cherries. This is my first time ever growing them. Um, so don't know if they do well in in case like this or not but we will soon see i do have some other ones planted um, that are not in a veggie pod so let's go around to the side here and see what we got Hi, Mama. <laughs> All right, over here we have our carrots. And I just actually planted on down here um, some of, uh, I think it's called Alyssa onions from Baker Creek. Um, everything's looking a little peaked. I may have to do a watering before the storm. Um, and this is chives over here. Um, some starts I picked up from Lowe's. Now the cabbage in this veggie pod is amazing. Truly amazing. So, let's take a look. I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous. My camera has a glare. Okay. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice hard head is starting to form. Um, this one over here is, this row is Napa cabbage. Um, my first time growing this, and I'm starting to feel the center of it form as well. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, just watch it grow and over on this side I did some onions uh, transplants that I had and the other day I had a my friend and her son and his cousins came over and they planted some pea seeds in here um, these are ground cherry transplants and I'm actually going to be taking some of these out um, I just needed to get them planted um, instead of just staying in their container. So, um, and over here on this side, 
I decided to plant some more squash. Um, well, I don't think this is squash. I think this is, oh, yes it is. It's, um, oh goodness, butternut squash. <laughs> That's what this is. So, um, so yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, so I did just want to come on and just do another quick update of things. Um, I think that's everything to show. Huh, if it's not, if I'm missing something, I'll get it on the next video. So as always, guys, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.